Alright, we're going to do a demo on how to draw noses. We're drawing this nose today. So I'm going to start with just a center line to make sure that the right side of my nose is the same as the left side of my nose. Just like this. Um, this is going to be the right side. I'm going to make it mm, about that big. And then I'm going to measure over and make sure that I can fit it on this side. Just like that. Then I can tell that my nose sort of has an angle to it like this. So I'm going to draw it over from here, roughly like that. And same thing on this side. If I put my pencil down at that angle and put it here, it will be the same. So that's just a basic guideline of where that nose is going to fit in. Okay. This is going to be the septum. And I'm going to bring this line up here and this one up here. Then I'm going to bring the sides of my nostrils around, around the edge. And it doesn't have to touch this line just because that's where I measured it to. So that's all the lines that I'm going to draw, and I'm going to erase everything that I use to help me draw them. Then I'm going to sort of erase the lines a little bit, just so that the pencil doesn't show, because you don't want to use charcoal together with pencil, they don't mix very well. So the darkest part of the nose is right here, at the nostril, so I'm going to start there. And then I'm going to start blending it down because there's only a top of the nostril, there's no line for the bottom. So the top should blend down into the rest of the nose this way. Then what I notice when I'm looking at this is that I've got a constant change from darker to lighter to darker to lighter on these areas. So if you look here, it's light, dark, medium, dark, medium, dark, medium, light. Does that make sense? So I'm going to bring some of my darks down here. And it's a little bit darker right underneath. And it works a little bit like fabric. You have to decide which side of the line is darker and which side of the line is lighter. So if you see a line, it's because there's a change in value. There really are no lines. So on this side of the nose, the nostril is actually darker than the upper lip right here. So I'm going to fill in some darker area there. That darkness continues over here, slightly lighter just above that nostril, and then a little bit darker above that. And then it starts to curve up. And somewhere right in here, right in here, the darkness changes so that it's not darker on the nostril, it's actually darker on the cheek side. So over here, I'm going to continue this value, but it's going to be on the other side. it over here just a little bit. And bring it down there. The underneath the nose, there's sort of a similar value that comes around here and swoops sort of an S shape. This way. And again, right over here, on the septum of the nose, that's the part of skin that separates the right nostril from the left nostril, 
there's slightly lighter area right here. So I'm going to leave it kind of light there and bring the, the shadow here down around. This is a much lighter shadow, say 25%. The same thing that happened on this side is going to happen on this side. It's darker underneath the nostril here. The actual nostril side is darker. I'm going to add some darker values there to help that really black black from the nostril blend down. And then I'm going to start to bring that value up into the paler value above the nostril. And right around here, you'll notice right around there, here-ish, that's where the dark from the cheek here starts to create the line between the nostril and the cheek. So darker here and lighter underneath. And just because something is light doesn't mean there's no value at all on it. You might want to include a little bit of value in some areas where it's pale. But keep in mind that the brighter your brights are, the darker your darks will seem. And putting them right next to each other will help to push that idea. So here's my darker value underneath the middle. I'm going to start bringing it up into a lighter value. Not white, but lighter. There's sort of an area where this shadow curves around, sort of the bulb of the nose. Here. And then it's a paler value on the nostril. But again, not completely white, just paler. bring a little bit more of the shadow down underneath the nose, right under here. You'll notice that fades very, very smoothly. a little bit darker on this side and the shadow comes down this way a little bit more, same as it did on the nose. So now I'm going to come in with some willow and just add a little bit on the areas that I want to blend, which is most of the nose, truly. I'm trying not to leave lines because these are areas that smoothly transition from one value to the next. So you don't want lines of charcoal the same way you don't want lines of willow because they will show up. And I'm just going to blend them out. And I'm left with a really dark, dark nose here that doesn't really resemble the nose that I started with. And that's why we want to come in with our eraser and come back and pull out some of those highlights that we missed when we blended everything together. And this is quite a bit paler on this side. And then if you leave a hard line with your eraser, you can go back and blend it out a little bit with your finger. Here, there's that pale right above the nostril. Remember, the lighter your lights are, the darker your dark darks will seem, and having a light next to a dark will really help it to pop. This 
the shadow over here doesn't need mean it needs to be dark also. So it's a paler shadow. And then if you want to bring this up a little bit more, that will help it to seem less flat near the top. 